guys, today I've got this get ready with me video, hair and makeup and my outfit. I'm going out for a cafe date this morning and I wanted to show you what kind of thing that I would put together to go out on a cafe date. It's not too formal but it's not casual, um, I really like how it turned out, my hair and my makeup and my little outfit so if you'd like to watch that just stay tuned. Let's start off with the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Now, I'm in the shade Shell Beige and I bought this on holiday, but I've had it before. I actually bought it because I love it so much and it's one of those foundations that pretty much, I don't know one person who doesn't love Estee Lauder's Double Wear. It's, it is full coverage, but it's just beautiful so I just use the Real Techniques buffing brush to buff that all over and the thing that I love about it is that it doesn't give you a totally matte dull finish so basically it'll cover up your imperfections it'll even out your skin tone but it won't give you like no um, I don't know what's that word completely covered up mask like appearance because that ain't pretty. I got a new palette in the mail. Um, it's the Chocolate Bar by Too Faced. It's a whole lot of neutral colours plus a few little extras added in there. So I've lost my little overlay that tells me what the colours are so I'm sorry I'll just have to point them out to you. So I might start with um, this colour, this kind of mid-tone brown and it's a matte colour and I'll put that as my transition with a fluffy brush and then blending it out in little circles, pushing it into the crease and then blending up. Okay, next I'm going to get a little um, flat shadow brush, which is really good for laying down product. And I'm going to get this, I'm probably going to go, hmm, I quite like this colour down the bottom. It's like another mid-tone, but it's got a, a shimmer to it. So, and it's quite a bit deeper than the colour I laid in the crease. So just on the flat brush, just start packing it on just on the lid. Now I'm going to blend some darker shade into my crease. And I'm probably going to use a combination of these two colours. So quite dark browns. One's got a shimmer, one's just matte. So let's just see how that looks. Very like a small definer brush. Just get a bit of each and gently like lay it down just on the corner and blend it up into the crease a little bit. Keep, you know, blending and then reaching back into your palette um, and adding more. Because like I often say, it's easy to add more, but it's really quite difficult and like annoying to take away. So I'm just bringing it up a little bit further into the crease because I'm liking the way it's quite dramatic. So more of that, uh, that shade there. So blend it, blend it until you can't blend anymore. Right, so then I've got another smaller flat brush and I'm going to get that nice creamy shade there and just define under my eyebrow. I'm just going to finish off my concealer. So I've got the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW25 and I get the tiniest amount of that because it is so high coverage and just a clean ring finger and in a triangle motion I just put it under my eye and then whatever product I have left over I just dot it on my chin down the bridge of my nose and just a tiny bit on my forehead I find that because it is quite a like heavy not heavy coverage but a full coverage I don't put too much up here because it can look a bit cakey um, and you just want to like I quite like the highlight effect through the center of the, like, center of the face that's where you should be highlighting so I like that you could just use a little bit of that pro long wear and it really does give you that um, highlighted effect but it's not too out there all right and then I'm going to set it with Max prep and prime loose powder um, this is in the shade 02 and just Press that, not like hardly any, it's just to set it so it doesn't move. You guys remember my little Astralis Amazing Brow Tint, which I've kind of gone back to. 
I was I got a new eyeliner pencil at Estee Lauder one which is beautiful but if you just want to get ready fast this stuff is amazing and I'll get that little definer brush which probably still has a bit of that dark brown on it and just pop it under the lower lash line okay that's pretty I like that Okay, so let's, I'm going to put on false lashes today. I know, shock horror, false lashes. First, I'm going to put on some eyeliner. And this is um, one of the ones I got from the Bella box. It's called Eye of Horror. And I'm not going to wing it out today. Just, it's got a smudge on the end. So if you really wanted to, you could wing it out. But I just want a bit of definition, just something where... So if I put the lash line on, the lash band on, it's not so obvious. So I'll just apply um, the lash glue to these lashes. These are really nice. They're like um, really, really fluff, not fluffy, but um, fine. So that they actually do look like real lashes. The trick is, is that you just leave them to dry for about a minute until they're tacky. And that's when they're going to be the best to apply to your eyes and just drop them onto your lashes and then fix them in okay so lashes are on and they're looking look at that i can't see that <laughs> i think you can see they, they make a big difference lashes so and they feel really good so i'm gonna let the glue dry and i'm gonna move on to some bronzer uh, actually, I'll do Bahama Mama by The Balm, so I just use it on the hollow, under my chin, my jawline. Alright, now I'm going to get my Sun Club bronzer from Essence, which I love, because it smells like coconut, makes me think of like summer. On that same big fluffy brush, and this is just to warm up your face. And I've got some blush from Kmart, which I really, really like. It's so cheap. It's $2. <laughs> $2! And it's this peachy, pinky colour. It's OX blushes. I've got the Essence So Glow um, Cream to Powder Highlighter. And I just pop this on the tops of my cheekbones. A little bit here. Just to keep the shine at bay, it's the tiniest amount of my Bourjois um, Healthy Balance Powder on a fluffy brush just over my nose. And the tiniest amount, I barely touch it into the powder on my forehead and it's hardly anything because I've already got quite a bit of makeup on. I'm going to just um, use a bit of my Tarte Mascara. This is Lights Camera Splashes and it is a waterproof mascara. I'm going to use the tiniest amount on my lashes here because I've got falsies on, I don't want it to look too clumpy, just to blend them together. That's it. Next I've got this colour from BOE, it's called Birthday Suit. I've actually been wearing it lots lately, it's like a nudey uh, peachy brown. Okay, so why am I curling while I'm just heating up? I've just taken my hair out. Um, this is day three hair, so... <laughs> It's a little bit greasy. So what I'm going to do is spray some Batiste dry shampoo in it. This is the massive bottle. I'm almost through it. So just spray it at your roots. You want to absorb as much of that oil as you can. I added, I've actually curled this when I first did my hair. So you can see there's still a bit of a wave in it. But I just want to freshen it up. So I don't want to look like I've just rolled out a bit. Which um, is not cool. This is the, the Del Sassoon 32mm um, wand. Um, it's okay, it's to be honest, it's not as great as my Numi one, but I had it so I didn't wanna like I don't wanna purchase a Numi one if I still have this one. So just don't go too far up the hair shaft, just go about halfway. And you do want to hold there a little bit because it's not as hot as the Numi. So it doesn't um, keep the curl. I mean, it's good. See? So it's real, like it's pretty, but it doesn't. It just doesn't curl as fast as the other one. I, I can see the pain it costs you, and I can see, girl, how it hurts you. But let me show you, I can fix you. Mr. Becker, be a Mr. Becker. Uh, 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 
understand, girl, what you've been through. That is the reason. I'm going to use a bit of the Schwarzkopf 6 Miracle Oil Essence and you just get one pump because you're, you know, it's day three um, of your hair not being washed. So just put that through the ends just because you are putting your heat on your hair again, or I am, so I don't want it to look fried. So I've got like my gold jewellery, I've got my gold bracelet and my usual bracelets I wear. I've got this gorgeous um, like tribal looking ring. I've also got this beautiful boho ring which I love. So lots of rings. I put my hoops on, I love hoops, especially gold with my hair at the moment. Okay, so I've got my gold necklace on, which has got like three different layers, which is so pretty. Right, I'll show you what I'm wearing today for my coffee date. Okay, so I've got on my um, sports girl dark blue jeans. I've got on a dotty t-shirt, which is really gorgeous wine color, burgundy color. And I've got on a little, um, I think this is dotty as well, long thin cardi, which I think is so winter appropriate. I've got this blue um, infinity scarf that has little tiny dots of burgundy, so it just ties in really well. So that's my coffee date, makeup and hair. So that's it guys, that's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it, not too hard to do. I hope you stay tuned. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know that you like it. And also leave me a comment down below. The best thing about YouTube is that we all get to talk to each other. It's such a supportive community. So I'll see you next time, guys. Bye. To love you. Hey girl, you know that I'm the one for you.